Namaskar. Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this session and today we shall discuss about the topic International Cuisine. Firstly coming to the introduction. Dear students, a cuisine can be defined as a style of cooking characterized by utilizing distinctive ingredients, techniques and through which a wide variety of dishes are produced and is usually associated with a specific culture or geographic region. A cuisine is primarily influenced by the ingredients that are available locally or obtained through trade. Religious food laws can also exercise a strong influence on the development of cuisine. Regional food preparation traditions Prevailing customs and ingredients are often combined to create dishes unique to a particular region. Some of the elements that have an influence on a region's cuisine include the area's climate, which determines the native foods that are available, the economic conditions, and so on, which can have a direct impact on the food distribution, imports and exports. Cuisine dates back to the antiquity. Rome was known for its cuisine. Wealthy families would dine on a wide variety of dishes. Their diet usually consisted of eggs, cheese, bread, meat and honey. Cuisines evolved continually over the years and with lot of experimentation and new cuisines are created by innovation and cultural interaction and sharing of experiences. One recent example is fusion cuisine which combines the elements of various culinary traditions while not being particularly categorized as per one cuisine style and generally refers to the innovations in many contemporary restaurant cuisines since the 1970s. This unit has been divided into five parts. French cuisine, Italian cuisine, Chinese cuisine, beverages and snack products. Firstly, we will look into French cuisine. French cuisine is considered to be a unique one. Sometimes more elegant, sometimes can be rustic, but always maintains the exquisite technique. It was thought that mastering of the art of French cooking was rather difficult and for many it was the pinnacle of culinary achievement. Food can be produced through few practiced cooking methods with the utilization of common basic ingredients. A typical French food is completely dependent on locally grown products. The French cuisine has a long and diverse history. The installation of oven took place in the 12th century for preparing meat roast. From 14th century onwards, sauces were being used for seasoning purposes and they became an integral part of the culinary art. Italian cooks and pastry cooks were employed towards the end of 16th century. The popular snack French fries was introduced in the 18th century, which became very popular and it became an integral part of the French cuisine. In early 18th century, Bread and cereals were the basic ingredients which were being used on a daily basis. From the beginning of the 19th century, food became the major social etiquette and more sophisticated dishes emerged at that time. Vegetables such as potatoes, green beans, carrots, turnips, French mushrooms were being grown abundantly in the fertile lands. French cooking is considered to be one of the most refined and modern type of technique with elegant manners. Food is an integral part of their culture. The original French recipes have increased the popularity of France since centuries. Characteristics of the cuisine Cooking is relatively less complicated, but the garnishes served are more complex. Spices are used sparingly, hence foods usually have delicate aroma. Sauce cookery is one of the most important characteristic features of French cooking. The use of wine in cooking contributes unusual flavor which tends to emphasize the unique feature of the French cuisine. 
Dishes are mainly identified by the garnishes and accompaniments. Hence, they play a vital role in giving identity to each particular dish. Butter, olive oil or salad oil is used as the cooking medium and the dishes are not greasy. Rather, they will be lighter and tastier. The use of spices and herbs impart subtle flavour, taste and originality to the dishes. Parsley, celery, basil, thyme, rosemary, chives, shallots, allspice, bay leaf, paprika, pepper and nutmeg are normally employed in cooking. Cheese is used extensively and also used as a base ingredient or a garnish. It is also used to blend with soups. Every region of France has its own variety of cheese. Some of the popular cheeses are Camembert, Neufchatel, Roquefort and Brie. Both red and white wines are used in cooking. Wine helps to tenderize the tougher and drier cuts of meat. Incorporation of sauces provides for contrast or balanced blending with other ingredients tends to enhance taste and flavour along with imparting appealing colour to the dishes. Let us move to the next aspect, Italian cuisine. Italian cuisine is known to be evolved through centuries of social and political change. Its origin can be traced back to the 4th century BC. A significant change took place with the discovery of New World, which had maximum contribution in shaping the culinary art to Italy. This also introduced a variety of foods such as potatoes, tomatoes, bell pepper and maize. The type of ingredient used and dishes prepared also vary with respect to each region. There are many significant regional dishes that have gained popularity as national and regional dishes. Cheese and wines are the indispensable ingredients. A form of coffee known as espresso coffee was introduced from Italy, which has obtained an important place in the cultural cuisine. During the 18th century, the Italian cuisine was known to have largely dependent on locally and seasonally available products. The present changes have probably evolved very slowly over the centuries. Several major changes have taken place which was also considered to have significant impact on the dwelling population. During those days, tomato was widely accepted as a food commodity. At about the same time, potatoes became a regular part of several regional cuisines. Regional cuisines. It was basically characterized by some specific unique dishes. Dishes like pasta, rosette and pizza were served in almost all parts of the country. Each region has its own style of cooking which brings about variation in the same recipe. In the regions of Tuscan, soups and fish stews are very common. The other popular dishes like spaghetti and minestrone were usually prepared in the cities of Milan and Lombardy. The use of rice and peas characterizes the cuisine of Veneto region. The other famous dishes of this region include the calf's liver fried with onions, shellfish, eels and even dried cods were served. The Italian cuisine capital of Norcia popularizes in pork dishes, black truffles and handmade pasta known as strozapriti. Sicily produces abundant amount of fruits and vegetables. This particular region is well known for its preparation of sausages, sweet green olives and lamb steaks. Most of the dishes are prepared in the oven rather than cooking on an electric fire. For pizza baking, they normally use ceramic or clay ovens as they are known to impart crispy taste to the dough. A typical Italian meal would start with an entry followed by a first course and a second course or main course meals would be served with the accompanying side dishes such as bread, a dessert or a fresh fruit and an espresso coffee. 
Each of these dishes and courses are known to possess its own characteristics. Special occasions involve a serving of more than one main course. The main course dish usually consists of fish or vegetable. The main course side dish must complement the ingredients of the main dish. For example, if the main dish is a meat based preparation, the side dish could consist small portions of vegetables. Now coming to Chinese cuisine. The richness of Chinese food, history and culture is due to its astonishing diversity of cuisines. The grain based carbohydrate rich food is the staple diet of China. Without a cereal based diet, no meal is considered complete. Rice is traditionally grown in southern parts where there is a good water supply. But nowadays, it is also widely grown in northeastern part of China. It is the main staple food item and can be prepared in a wide variety of ways and served. Wheat is another staple food, particularly grown in northern part of China. Various types of wheat based dishes are also popular. to the next aspect which is cuisines of China, Cantonese cuisine. The food is not generally spicy. Seafood, poultry, beef and pork are abundantly used. Greater emphasis will be laid on the use of fresh ingredients. Spices and flavorings are sparingly used and would produce a restrained effect. The cooking methods such as stewing, braising and steaming are the most widely used methods. The traditional breakfast or lunch in Cantonese cuisine usually includes steamed buns, dumplings, rice and noodle rolls. Sichuan cuisine. It is the most popular cuisines of China. It is well known for its hot or spicy or sour flavor. Pepper and chili are liberally used. Some of the key ingredients of this cuisine include poultry, pork, beef, fish, vegetables and tofu. Cooking methods such as quick frying, stir frying, dry braising and dry stewing are the usual methods used to prepare the dishes. Shandong cuisine. It is known to have originated from the native cooking style of East China Shandong province. It is usually referred to as the Mandarin cuisine. These regions are well known for preparing aromatic lamb dishes. Shandong is a coastal province. Hence, abundant use of seafood characterizes the dishes produced in this area. Scallops, prawns, clams, sea cucumber and squid are the most notable ingredients used in coastal province of China. Shandong cuisine has also gained popularity not only in coastal province but also in Beijing. This cuisine is well known for its unique flavor which is mainly inclined to emphasize the northeastern areas of China and Beijing. Unlike the other type of cuisines, greater attention is exercised in the use of absolutely fresh ingredients. The dishes take on slightly salty flavor. On the other hand, it makes the food tender and contributes rich taste and crispness. Hunan In this cuisine, Chili pepper, shallots and garlic are liberally used. The taste varies from dry, hot, spicy or aromatic. Fujian Soups are the speciality dishes of this cuisine. Soups are the combination of mountain as well as sea ingredients. Taste varies from sweet and sour or spicy and sweet. Zhejiang this particular cuisine makes use of seafoods, freshwater fish, bamboo shoots and even tea leaves are employed to bring about variation in the cooked dishes. The foods are usually moderately salty with fresh appeal. Rice based dishes of China Rice It is the plain steamed white rice. Chinese cultivate short and stickier grain varieties. Fried rice includes several regional styles. Cooked rice is seasoned with half-boiled vegetables, soya and tomato sauce. 
chopped ginger and garlic and is subjected to stir frying. This dish provides a balanced taste of sweet, sour, salty and spicy perceptions due to the combination of ingredients used. Congee, that is porridge. It is the most versatile and common breakfast food. It is normally consumed with savoury pickles. It can also be prepared by adding beef, fish, egg and other ingredients. This would turn congi into a complete meal. In southern part, congi is cooked till it acquires a thick texture. The consistency of congi would be thinner in the northern part. Wheat based dishes Dumplings These are the thin dough wrappers stuffed with savoury mixtures such as minced vegetables, meat or seafood and is then sealed and made into a bite-sized packet. Any ingredients can be used as filling. But cabbage and pork are considered to be the classic ingredients used in preparation. Stuffed buns. These are basically a steamed buns with a filling. The filling can be similar to those of dumplings. Steamed buns. This is typically a staple food in northern parts of China. They can be shaped like a dome or a rounded loaf. Size ranges from bite size to size of a fist. Noodles. These are the most popular products which come with an impressive variety of size, shape and texture. They can be incorporated into soup after being fried or can also be served as cold dish. Noodles are traditionally prepared by stretching and folding the dough into strands with the help of the hand. Let us move to the fourth objective, beverages. Before French meals, people traditionally have a light alcoholic beverage called an apertif. The popular aperitif is usually made from anise. During the meal, the beverage of choice is often bottled water or sparkling water as this is perceived to help digestion. A common table wine is often the beverage of choice for adults while the children enjoy sweetened syrup drink, fruit juices and cedars. After the meal, the French often prefer to have a nice coffee or a cup of tea. In China, the common beverage is the Xinqiang black beer. It has a strong flavor with a hint of brown sugar-like sweetness. Another popular drink is made by fusing scotch whiskey, bottled green tea. This cross-cultural mix is known to have a smooth and honey taste. One of the most popular soft drinks among young people in mainland China includes jelly or pudding like bubbles in sweetened milk tea. It has a slightly bitter aftertaste. C100 is the China's version of electrolyte water. It is normally a fruit flavored drink. Lemon and grapefruit flavors are the preferred flavors. The vitamin rich drink has a tangy, sweet and acidic lemonade taste. The Japan sake is the most common traditional liquor. Sake commonly means all types of alcoholic beverages. Sake is produced by the multiple fermentation of polished rice. The alcohol content of sake is higher than beer and wine, ranging from 15 to 16. Shochu is extensively used liquor made by fermenting grain or sweet potato. It is mainly produced in the south area of Kyushu Island and Rukyu Island because the climate is warm and is unfavorable for making sake. Beer is the most important and popular drink in Japan and the consumption is overwhelmingly more than sake. Whiskey is also the choice of drink for many Japanese since a long time. Now let us move on to the last aspect that is snack products. The reasons why we snack are diverse and varied. The obvious reason we tend to snack is for pure enjoyment. 
We snack because it tastes good and the experience derived is highly pleasurable. Snacks are intended more for in-between meals than for actual meal replacements. Sweet potatoes are an important part of winter in China, especially the north of the country. Hence, on the roadside, sweet potato chips are normally sold. Another popular snack is corn on the cob. Corn is boiled in hobs on the street and are cheap and tasty. Roasted chestnuts are also relished on snack time. Even more popular are sunflower seeds. In Europe, snacking favorites include fresh fruit, cheese, yogurt and vegetables. In the Middle East or Africa, grocery stores are the source for snacks. Top snacking items include fresh fruit, chocolate, bread sandwich and potato chips or tortilla chips or crisp. In Latin America, refrigerated items such as yogurt, cheese and ice cream are top regional snack preferences. In North America, top regional snack favorites include potato chips or tortilla, chips or crisps, chocolate, cheese and cookies or biscuits. It is now time to wrap up this session. So let us conclude by saying, we now understand that the origin of cuisine dates back to the antiquity. Rome was known for its cuisine Cuisines evolved continually over the years and with lot of experimentation and new cuisines are created by innovation and cultural interaction and sharing of experiences. French cuisine is considered to be a unique one. Sometimes more elegant, sometimes can be rustic. Italian cuisine has been known to be evolved through centuries of social and political change. Its origin can be traced back to the 4th century BC. A significant change took place with the discovery of New World which had maximum contribution in shaping the culinary art of Italy. The richness of Chinese food history and culture is due to its astonishing diversity of cuisines. The continued evolution and cultural interaction has resulted in the well-defined culinary art of today's world. Thank you.